Welcome back to Captain of Industry Update 2 that just released in April 2024 and we've now been playing it on a custom map that I created myself. It's a map of Paris, you know, we have the small island, Ile de la Cité in the middle is where we're starting and then we have the actual uh, different uh, sides of Paris on both sides of the river. Don't hesitate to check also in the video description below if you want to see the link to the full playlist and also the link to download this map. This is already a third episode, so let me catch you up. We have over here our population, three blocks of population with some potatoes for food and some waste collection. We have repaired our shipyard and sent our ship on the map, discovering already an oil ring, and now we're sending it over there. Who knows what we're gonna find there. We're doing research, of course, right? We just finished, for example, copper refinement. So we're gonna do this copper over here in a second. Uh, we did finish this one, so let me take it out. Next one will be construction level two, which is important. You know, we're gonna move into the construction parts level two, more advanced production, also give us access to the assembly level two, which is more efficient production building. So there's gonna be a lot there. Talking about production, you know, we have automated a lot already. We have, for example, over here, a brick production out of our water, dirt, and coal. We have our blast furnace, a basic one that's taking, you know, iron, either scrap or normal uh, iron and coal to make this iron that's stored over here. Then we're transforming this iron into things like construction parts, mechanical parts or vehicles. And now we're actually going to start just now to make also some electronics. Actually, it should be, I forgot to, to put the right one. I think it should be this one. So yes, here we're gonna start making electronics which are required for the maintenance, right? But the key thing with electronics is they take rubber and copper, which we're not making yet. So in this episode today, we definitely need to make that. Before doing that though, let's finish the tour. We have a farm there. We have a mine control tower for coal and one for iron there. We're gonna need to start with copper very soon. And last but not least, we have in this corner here, the beginning of an oil factory, right? We're taking crude oil, transforming it into diesel, storing this diesel. And today we're gonna transform this diesel into rubber. So let's go. Don't hesitate to tell me, of course, in the comments below if you have any questions, photo requests. But yeah, for everybody else, let's dive right in. So we want to make vehicle parts and electronics. That's fine. We're going to want to make copper. So copper, you know, as I said, we have over here a mine that's big enough to actually start getting copper there. As long as we do something like this, we should start getting some copper good the problem we're gonna have is we're gonna need to put copper also over here and now we have five resources so five resources is not gonna work perfectly unless we do something like this i'm gonna put both the rocks and the dirt into the number b i'm gonna put the coal into c and therefore the copper into d i could also build another one of these but I think for now, it's really not needed, you know? It's fine for me to have the dirt and the rock in the same, because the key thing is then I can just drop it into the ocean. So we should be getting some copper. I'm gonna wait a bit uh, for us to get it before building. And so in the meantime, let's actually start a rubber production. So a rubber production is over here. We have the rubber maker. Two recipes, for now we're definitely going to use this one. So let's go. We're gonna want to do, yeah, I think something like this. So this one goes directly here, right? This is a output of wastewater. And here we're gonna need some diesel. So let's do this. I am going to do same thing I did in the previous episode, which is press E to put it level two, right? And then drop it there so that in the future, we can also have a belt here come at level zero for coal or sulfur. 
So I think that is fine. I mean, I cannot even delete that for now. It's fine. Okay, let's unpause this with P. So it's going to get built. I may want to put a storage soon of rubber there. We have explored second location, location, finding some rubber, copper and vehicle parts. Love it. So now the ship has actually come back while I was talking. Are you saying I talk too much? So it came back and it has all of those resources, but it can't deliver them there because there's no space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on this keep empty where this is going to start trying to empty it by delivering those things somewhere else. So for example here, it just took you know the dirt and I'm guessing it's gonna send the dirt there. This way, this is going to make space for this to be delivered. Um, one thing I could do is have a diesel storage here. That would be a good idea. So let's go, let's put a diesel storage here. That's going to deliver Oops, see, somehow it auto connects. So, auto connects to avoid this, you're gonna press R. Now it's not gonna auto connect anymore. So, perfect. Okay, good. So, that should be also taking out a lot of this diesel here. We have finished this one, great. Producing rubber started. Yes, copper hole, we haven't really started. Now the question is, where do I start? Do I make copper here or do I continue making? I think we're going to start making it here, to be honest. But yeah, we started to make rubber, so that's great. That's great. Okay, I love to see a lot of green here. I do think, as I said, we're going to probably start building some production here. I do want to get as soon as possible over here because that's going to give me a lot more space to start building. Over here we are quite constrained in terms of space. Oh, we also have to be careful that our energy is starting to get high. Right? My total production right now is 800 with one of these and sometimes it seems to get higher than that. We Basically, uh, this is the next mission. I do want to cut those trees here, but when it's done, we're going to start cutting over here. We have a bit more of vehicle parts, so let's build one more. How are we doing? Slowly but surely. Okay, so what else? We have a lot of rubber, so maybe what we should do, sorry about that, is a rubber factory somewhere. A rubber storage, why do I say factory? Let's put it here for now. It's definitely not long term, but just want to make sure we basically empty this. I'm going to use some Unity to make that a priority. Okay, so hopefully yeah, he's taking it, he's taking it. They all deliver, you know, very quickly, a lot of rubber. Love it. Make some space. This, I forgot to say that it should be diesel. So that's also going to help empty the diesel. You can see also, by the way, right, the trucks are different depending on what they deliver. I think, wow, this is a very cool one, actually. I hadn't seen it f before. And do tell me in the comments below if you want uh, some of those trucks to be with your names. So it is. We've delivered a lot of the rubber. It's already full. And here it is. We've delivered now a lot of the diesel. And that's going to automate the diesel production here, which is important. Come on. Still full. Oh yeah, that's the copper. Okay, I missed that. <laughs> that's a lot of copper. Okay, we do have a few more construction parts. So what I'm going to do now is here. I'm going to build one here and one. Wait, did I block it? Yeah, I did. Sorry. So let's press X. I'm going to put one here and one there. 
So this one we said electronics, this one mechanical parts. Because remember, if my maintenance is too low, I have a big problem. So I want to make sure as soon as possible that this is automated. This is also getting low. So we're going to have to be careful there. Okay. Okay, okay. How are we doing? Yeah, we have done all of this. I'm going to want the conveyor belt soon. So let's put that one next. Blueprints and ramps. We're not going to use blueprint right away, but for sure I do plan to create a lot of blueprints for you all. And then maybe let's go into fuel, groundwater, irrigated, and crops. That's a good start. Over here we have some of the new ones like the transporter lift and the custom surfaces. But we're not ready yet for it. So, what is happening here? That is wood. We're starting to do the wood there. Okay. How is that working out over here? There's a lot of coal. Okay. We haven't really gotten yet into the copper. That's fine. My, oh, my potatoes. This is decreasing. I think we were at 300 at some point. And I have no space to build another one. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> um yeah okay i may need to actually focus on those trees then over here and we need to make sure that we have enough storage for those trees because otherwise that's gonna pause the tree production basically let's use some unity i have quite a lot right now so it's built automatically i do want to probably build another one now that we have 40. let's go and actually, maybe I'm gonna pause that one. No, that's not really the important one. Let's do this first. Stop that for now. Okay. Um, so, yeah, because I think we need definitely more. And I should probably now make some. Let's make another one for this. But more importantly, we need to make some for copper, given the amount of copper we have in reserves. So, copper, copy. So this is costing me some resources for sure. Okay, I don't have enough for that one. But that's a good start. We're gonna want to do this. Okay. Oh, there's. Why didn't they cut the last one? There's only one remaining. Oh my world. Okay. The other things we could start doing is over here. You can see I also have a small mountain, right? This is a small mountain that I created in the because I created the map, right? For the sole purpose of making sure we have enough uh, dirt, basically. <laughs> so dirt for the bricks, but also dirt to finish this bridge in time. So let's go, let's build this and let's mine a bit. So we are flat, that's fine. Let's mine a bit, good. We do also have too much energy like it seems to be now constantly too much so let's build another one expand the pipe done okay good 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 so while this is happening let's start building this new comp more complex production chain because we're gonna want the copper electrolysis so it starts with the blast furnace again we do need smokestack right we're gonna need to do this one and that one i always put scrap first but in this case i don't think we're gonna get any scrap anytime soon 
we're producing 24 right it's the same ratio we're gonna want sorry over here to put then those two so let's go uh, i'm gonna leave one space just in case so one two then we can connect quickly oh sorry let me press r okay done but this is not creating something that we can use this is creating impure copper so then we're gonna need to put the impure copper into a copper electrolysis right so we're gonna do it yeah, a bit quick and dirty for now meaning i'm gonna put it here in the future we definitely want to do it a bit more efficiently but i think for now this is fine we need one rainwater collector and we are very low on space Ooh. i told you this was a complex map huh? i hope you agree that i'm not lying is there any space to put it or maybe over here okay it's not ideal we'll definitely delete this in the future but uh, you know i'm doing what i can so let's uh, go again at level one okay so that's gonna create copper i'm going to build the whole thing to make the mission happen soon but to be honest we have tons of copper huh? and we're getting some copper here uh, this is a fun one we have iron copper and dirt in the same truck so this uh, over here is going to be oh we have a problem okay what is happening what did i do there's too much coal okay 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 sorry i definitely need to fix this so i think one we should stop these two for now because <laughs> we have way too much coal and then we should probably put a storage of coal so i'm gonna put a storage of coal here because if i don't have diesel i'm in a big trouble so i want to make sure i always have some coal here so let's go we're gonna put it here and in the future we can belt there so let's go coal and actually we probably should put two if you don't know in the future we'll also get way bigger ones but that's a good start okay we have unlocked the blueprints by the way that's good so hopefully they're gonna start delivering sorry i should actually say make sure that this is always no sorry there is this one okay so yeah it's delivering call perfect so that can now restart good 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 i hope i didn't make another mistake how are we doing over here seems okay bricks is a bit low we are making them i guess we're just making them too slowly okay do we have new resources we should be following right now no no no, no it's fine okay no i think we're fine good well my trucks are very busy which basically means i don't have enough trucks so it would be great to get the conveyor belts very soon we do have quite a bit of those parts so let's go and see if we can build this whole thing now the rain harvester and by the way you may sometime want to put also fluid buffer after the rain harvester to you know basically when there's a lot of rain you create some reserves the reality is the production of those things is so low i don't think it is a good investment at this time in the game did i pause this again somehow yeah i think so <laughs> okay so we're starting to build uh, all of those things i don't really need that one but it's fine okay
Okay, so this is starting as you can see over here, right? We have some first one coming, molten copper. We're gonna make also some slag, which will help me. Yeah, we are slowly but surely making progress here. It is not a huge bridge to be clear, like you definitely want to have bigger than two in the future. And look at this physics, by the way, right? It always drops on the side. Love it. But here it is. We have started all of this. So now we just need to produce a bit of copper. Here it is. The first impure copper oh, is coming in this truck, being delivered now. Yeah, 16. We need 24. So we need to wait for the next one. Here it is. Perfect. We need a bit of water though. So we need to produce some water. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a lot of red right now, not so great, especially in electronics, we have to be careful. And also my potatoes are indeed decreasing for sure. Why is this one not delivering? What's happening? Why are they not delivering here? It should be on. Uh, not sure why it was off, but anyway, it is now on. So they will deliver, make hopefully soon some space for another farm. Okay, we have finished this one. I am a bit worried about those electronics though. But we do have this. I think the point is just we don't have a reserve of electronics. So let me build this. So at least we have a reserve of electronic over here. Let me also put this like this. Make sure we always have a bit of diesel in reserve here. Slowly but surely this is getting empty. That's great. Great, great, great. We could almost pause this now, to be honest. And I think that's what we're going to do. Because it's energy for nothing. Transport for nothing. Which also means I'm going to stop this. I don't really need copper at this moment in time because I have so much copper in reserve. But instead, let's make sure we continue cleaning this part here. There's a bit of soil and getting also some more iron. All right, that's important. Let's put, let's start to organize. I want my food first. That's critical. Uh, I want then diesel. Then coal, yeah, that's good. Let's put the copper just next to the iron. Then the rubber, that's good. I don't really need that for now. These are less important. I do want this to check it out because it's part of, um, you know, having over here the maintenance work, right? So we definitely want this. Picky is struggling, okay. So it was high and then they destroyed the terrain. So we're gonna have to do this, which is to recover the truck with some unity. Okay, so that is good. Good progress there. Conveyor belts is taking a bit of time. I think it may be time for us to build a second research lab. Even if I don't actually have a lot of space for it. <laughs> uh, we're going to put it here. This way, you know, instead of basically having 3.2 points of research per minute being built, we're going to double that. So that's going to help now getting a bit quicker. Some of those new things. This is very annoying that we still have things uh, there. Why are they not delivering here? Again, this is this on off thing okay and then there's also cement maybe that's just me i can build one cement uh, somewhere yeah cement done okay a lot more green that's nice except on coal we did stop coal so that makes a bit of sense maybe we restart now but only one truck instead of two. And we just need to keep an eye on this, basically. I should, let's put all of this actually. That way I get an alarm 
if there's any problems. And it is, the belts have been done. We don't actually have the quest to make belts yet, because to make them you need construction part level 2. So we need to first do this. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So this is construction part level 1 and electronics, which is another reason why you definitely want to start making electronics at this point, which means you need copper. And by the way, you also have, right? You go from 6 construction parts to 3 in the assembly level 1. But that is definitely critical at this point because I want to start making belts. How are we doing over here? Okay, perfect. We started to empty. So we can send back uh, ship to new locations and hopefully find some new things. Okay, so build me this. Perfect. It's going to start making some assembly. By the way, also, you have over here... You can use a bit of unity to boost the production of those so basically double what is important though is it doesn't double just the output it also doubles the input so it's basically as if you build two it's not really making it more efficient or anything like this we will also want to upgrade it soon but not yet first i want to build some conveyor belts that's more important okay are we making some progress here to get a second uh, yeah, slowly but surely, but I think we're full on wood now. You can see it here, right? It's basically to the top. So we're going to need to build two more again. Okay, let's go. And we don't have any of these anymore. How about here? 40. That'd be great. Thank you. And here, the, what was this? Construct a new small excavator. We made many and start coal. Okay, so this was basically showing you to mine coal. We started this a while back, so I think we're good. Location explored. What did we find? Oh, we found the first cargo. It is damaged, but at least we found one. That's something. And a bit of different things. Let me go there and then go back home. So yes, now you can see over here, we have zero out of one ships. So we'll be able to get then ships on top of our main ships. We'll be able to get other ones. We have now a couple of these advanced or level two construction parts. So let's start making some belts. The first one I want to make is over here, because again, if my maintenance is not working, this is a big problem. So let's go, you know, we connect basically output to input and then we can use unity to build it because that's very small and now the things are being delivered directly so i don't need any truck to go there and i can even say you know here off that there's never a truck that goes there so that's what we did that's great and i think you know we're gonna want to do this in a couple of other places for example no not this one uh, but here, for example, here, right, I'm going to want a belt and that goes like this and goes like this. And he, oops, uh, why is it here? So now, similarly, over here, the coal is going to go directly. You can see it's coming slowly but surely into the building. So then, oops, I put unity on it. So now, you know, this is coming uh, directly. So again, I can say off and off, right? This way, it is a bit easier. There's no trucks that are going to come here. This one we can leave as is. And we also need coal here. So I could also continue the belt to go all the way there. Right, we're not going to do that one right away. The one I do want to show you is this one here where also for these things like this we are making you know some slug instead of having a truck taking the slug every time what you may want to do is have you know storage like this okay i'm gonna do it very basic right now in the future we'll do a lot better like that so the slug will go into the storage and then what i can say is you know we need to make sure that it's never full. So what will happen is when 
you know, the slag arrives over here, a truck will come, but before it won't. So it's also more efficient. You take sort of a full truck to come here instead of, you know, many small ones. So that's good. With this, we also did two new quests that are giving us a lot of construction parts. We have just unlocked, you know, the fuel station. They're talking about settlement water, which is this one over here. Let's make sure we unlock it. Advanced logistics is going to be a big one too very soon. There's a lot of very interesting things over here. Also getting to research lab level two. So similar to the fact that we got just now to construction part level two, we're going to want to do the same for research lab. And by the way, then we get to level three over here, uh, level three for research. Then where is my level four here? <laughs> level four for, you know, the construction parts and for research. And that's not all right. It continues and continues. I don't want to uh, you know, tell you about all the research, but there's definitely more coming. We have, I think, also now enough space to put another one just next to it. Yes, perfect. Okay, good, good, good. I was a bit worried for a second because our uh, food was definitely slowly coming down. Let's build this one with Unity. And I think it's a good stop for this episode. We have even more stabilized the city. And in particular, what I'm really happy with is we're starting to make belts. Here also is a very important belt. <laughs> Let's do this. So yeah, perfect. So we're starting to make belts. We are starting to move to a higher level, moving to level two, right, of construction parts. We're going to be able to also go to assembly level two, which doubles your production or sometimes even more than double, I think. We have a lot of green there. We have a problem of bricks, which is also why one of the next research that we can get access to is here the concrete production, which is basically better bricks. Uh, and how's uh oh look at this I, again i think this is a perfect end because the bridge is almost complete in the next episode we can finish this bridge and start coming here we're gonna cut a lot of trees but we also need to make this a bit more flat right you can see this is not flat at all and not flat is not good we need flat <laughs> So it is. Thank you, ladies and gents. Please smash like button. Tell me in the comments below if you have any comments, questions, thoughts, and I hope to see you next time.